Hello, this is Clyde J. Gale, and welcome to episode two of Clyde's Art Story. And the title of this episode is, Have You Ever Been Kissed by a Water Buffalo? And I'll get more into that a little bit later. When I was originally sent to Naples, Italy, I was only 18 years old, and I was serving in the U.S. Navy there, attached to the Allied Forces Southern Europe, a NATO command. And I worked at a facility that was located about an hour's drive outside of Naples, Italy, in the mountains. It was a communication facility called uh, Proto. But this was a communication facility that was tunneled into the mountains, originally built by the Germans during World War II, and then the American forces took over control of it after the war. And it provided communication network facilities throughout Europe for the armed forces. Since I first arrived in Italy, I didn't have a car, so I had to take a military bus that was provided for the service workers, and we had to catch it early in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, I think was the time, and it drove through the countryside out toward the facility. Now on my first day out there, I was like a small child in a candy store. I could not sleep. My fellow workers, who had been stationed there for a while, they were all snoozing and catching some extra sleep on the trip, but not me. I was jumping from window to window, just amazed at the countryside. I grew up in Indiana and had never really been outside of Indiana. It wasn't until I joined the military that I got a chance to travel and see a bit of the world. And so this was all brand new to me. I noticed the groves of these ugly trees, these trees that were gnarled and reminded me of something you would see in a horror movie and I made a comment one of my uh, co-workers laughed and said those are olive trees they're about a hundred years old or so and it was, it was just to me it was amazing just my the sights that I was seeing I also noticed these cows these ugly scraggly scraggly looking cows and, and he again laughed at me like I was a fool. I said, those are water buffaloes. I said, do what? Yeah, remember that uh, mozzarella cheese that we had the other night that you enjoyed so much? It's made from the milk of those water buffaloes, which kind of set me back. I said, whoa, uh, that, was, that was really something new. But these things were scroggly looking and, and just, I thought they were really ugly cows, but they were water buffaloes. About six months later, when I had a car, and was living off the base, I was able to drive to the facility. It cut the travel time down to about 40 minutes versus 60 minutes and the need to get up early in the morning. So after having completed a 24 hour shift, now here comes the, the uh, story from the title, Have You Ever Been Kissed by a Water Buffalo? After I'd worked my 24 hour shift and was driving back, through the countryside, I had to stop at a road because a herd of water buffaloes was being transferred from one pasture to another. So I'm sitting there and it's a nice warm day. I've got the windows down. And out of the corner of my eye, suddenly I saw this one particular buffalo that had broken away from the herd and was headed right toward my car. And of course I got my attention. And then I realized it was literally headed right for my open window. So I had just gotten the window rolled up in time before this slobbery black tongue slid across the window. This water buffalo was going to give me a kiss and I certainly wasn't going to enjoy it. This is a true story. This really happened, folks. Thus the motivation for my artwork. I was very fortunate to find a reference photo on the internet of a water buffalo up close and my interpretation of a water buffalo giving you a kiss. I also did some artwork of tried to express the ugly olive trees. They're beautiful, but ugly in a, in a certain sense. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Clyde's Art Story, and I'm looking forward to creating future episodes.